Johnny. It's Friday night, and we had a hard time with that game last night. Daddy. But let me tell you something. Them two teams don't know nothing about hard times. You look at the Buccaneers, baby. That's hard times. But I'm Doc Leesner, the podcasting beast. You know what? I had to start with a little dusty. I've been doing it all morning. I figured I would just continue with it. Doc Leesner here, the podcasting beast with the Professor John Guy, the King of RNG, the Troll Master, the DNA Life, the Conqueror, the Conqueror, the Conqueror, the Conqueror, the Terminator. The Ladies and gentlemen, Doc is the most hype machine. I am the best podcasting machine. This is Friday. And we have some news analysis and dare I say needs today to get through. Oh yeah. Yes, we do that. I, 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 I allowed the Dusty to go for the beginning, folks. I don't think it'll last for too long. Doc's already <laughs> hanging on one technical. So I am. I am. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's talk about the association really quickly. There. Uh, NBA Board of Governors approves the instant replay changes, disallowing referees to check out-of-bound violations during the last two minutes of the fourth period and the last two minutes of overtime to make sure that the game flow is improved. Do you think this improves the game flow or does it even matter? Or does the fact that the coaches will have the opportunity to challenge out-of-bound violations throughout the entire game change the flow of the game? Because previously they could not. Well, previously they couldn't do it during the last two minutes. Last two minutes, right? Now they can do it throughout the whole game, which happens. I mean, here's here's <sighs> here's the problem. You know, we talk about this for sports and medicine and all this other stuff. People want things to be faster and stronger without any care in the world. So they want their quick fix. And mm. the same thing applies with the NBA. They want the game to go by just like that. Not true. Here's the issue. The quicker the game flows means the more mistakes the referees can make. And we have seen that. We have seen that for a long time. Very long time. In all sports. In all sports. Like, it's Mm -hmm. not just the NBA. Like, we Mm -hmm. literally just had a discussion about the Green Bay 49ers game from Sunday. I was complaining about the referees at, at the flag football game, too. So I mean, and that's flag football, folks. Yeah, and I was here's, 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 here's the big <laughs> issue with this. It's going to slow the game down. And eventually, they're going to just do away with coaches only having two, ta- two challenges to use. They're going to give them, like, two challenges per half. Kind of mm-hmm. thing. Because the problem is there's such a large margin of error when it comes to these sports. True. <laughs> In Very a, large. Doc. The term of football is, is a game of inches. I mean, basketball is a game of millimeters. Yep. Where the difference between a team winning this game, if the ball is on the line versus it being slightly off, the foot is on the line or slightly mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want them to finally get the charge blocking call fixed. That's true. That would be good to get Because there's been many a time where I've seen a charge occur and they call a block. No, you're absolutely right. That's or vice versa. Major Let's get those stuff fixed. Major issue, sir. But but I can thing. at least give the NBA kudos for trying something. Whether it fails or not, the fact is they're trying something. Not like yeah. that bum out there in Major League Baseball, Ooh. Manfred, Wow, trying to speed up the game. And then now you're tracking down on pitchers. What do you expect the pitchers to do? Right. Well, we want but. the home runs. Well, that's what gave us the steroid scandal. 
<laughs> that's true. That is true. That you wanted home runs, and we gave you home runs, but it's at the cost of steroids. You're absolutely, and it right. goes back to wanting the quick fix. True. You Instead of just letting, problem. yeah. I mean, I don't think baseball. Baseball's not supposed to be quick. Uh, baseball's supposed to take a long time. That's the baseball's whole idea. Baseball's supposed to be calculated. Mm -hmm. It's a game of chess. Right. Right. Um, now I will say this. Um, and, and we have to move on, of course, because um, time is limited. Uh, but along with steroids, of course, we have now, um, obviously, the new item, you know, COVID, of course. It's been the last two years now, a year and a half, whatever you want to say. Um, COVID, COVID, and more COVID. Now we're talking about like, the vaccines, right? So right now, the NBA has reported that 95 percent of the players are vaccinated false but john Gotti's like i don't want to hear that <laughs> it's not even it's not even the fact that i don't want to hear that crap i just don't believe it they i mean done, it could be true they have done nothing to make me feel like what they're saying is true i mean is there do you think that it would be illegal for them to report those type of false numbers oh please if it was illegal i mean that's like the least of their worries <laughs> i mean we we kind of talked about how certain states misconstrued their numbers <laughs> and yeah, Doc, we you know from from you know what i t always talk about data mm -hmm. can be very you stagnant but it's you're quite easy. You're the data analyzing ninja, so you know I know. It's quite easy for people to just tilt it the other way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can't. I don't. I cannot rely on the integrity of that information. I mean, it would be interesting. I mean, because I know certain teams like. So I think it is like this. It's like certain teams might have one hundred percent vaccinated players right yes but then you have other teams with like 70 or 80 percent mm -hmm. so it's like if a certain amount of teams have 100 and then like a certain amount of teams have you know 85 or 90 it, it, 95 kind of comes out of all this well now you know what you're, I'm saying? now you're starting to talk more you know bell curve and using the high point of the bell curve <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's pretty sad that we would have to go there just to get people to Again, get vaccinated or not vaccinated it's, it's or to get people about, to go to games or not go to it's, games it's, it's all about how it looks like you don't want to tell someone hey well we lost half a billion dollars last quarter no hmm. you, you want to say well you know we made some growth we had a little bit of loss you know but our growth outweighs the loss. Our growth is at 95%. It sounds better than, well, we lost half a billion dollars. <laughs> no, and no exec wants to hear that. So um, use a percentage to fluff it up a little bit. But yeah. I mean, 95 is, 95 is pretty high, though. I mean, 95 you have to, is it, very it, high. It, it, yeah, it would have to be really, it would have to be close for them to like say 95. Like, it would have to be like 90, it, it, it couldn't be 92. Well, it would have to be and, 93 and, or and 94. The, and the key term is they said league wide, it's 95%, not right. players. It says, no, no, it says NBA reaches 95% vaccination rate among players. That's what it says. And then the article, nearly says half of the league. League wide teams. rate is 95. Yeah, so. Which, I mean, league-wide, I mean, listen, that can mean a lot of different things. Exactly. Um, I mean, and, they, that's they mention, where, and that's where They don't mention coaches, though. And that's where it gets. So they're saying the 95 figure would suggest that on average, one player per team is unvaccinated. That's what they're saying. Well, they, of course, that's... They should, they should say it, then. <laughs> well, that's what it says. That, no, that's what it says. It, it's saying that, I mean, it's saying that it would suggest that, but... I mean, obviously, there's going to be two on some play, some teams, three on some teams, but then you have, like I said, those other teams where it's 100% mm -hmm. vaccinated. Um, but 
it's interesting to say the least. Um, I mean, we'll see what happens. I know the big story is Kyrie. Um, he's like a major person. Like, Ugh, I don't know, guys. You know, where yeah, it's again, like that's. I mean, unless he actually, he, all he says is just respect my privacy. So right, right now that right. means nothing. <laughs> And that's why I said, I, I told you yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised if he was vaccinated, but just didn't want people to know that he was vaccinated. Like, you exactly. don't have to know that I'm vaccinated or not. Because um, it's true. I mean, just because he's a public figure doesn't mean he should have to tell everybody that he's vaccinated or not. So. I completely agree. Okay. But we have to move on to the gridiron. And I don't mean the gang. Last night, we had our freaking spread. Just destroyed um, yeah. as the Bengals defense in the first half, I'll say alone, they just they just didn't show up, man. I feel bad um, for people who had uh, parlays on the first half. Oof, yeah, that was rough. Um, but at the end of the I mean, at the end, obviously the Bengals were able to pull it, pull it off, but um, I will say that the Jaguars looked a lot better in yes. the start of this game. They just, I mean, they were up 14 nothing. They just let it slip away. Um, heartbreaking loss, of course, or Meyer says. Of course, it's tough to give up any lead. Um, but I can say this. Joe Burrow looked very, very comfortable in the yeah. pocket for most of the night. Um, 25 for 32, 348 yards, two touchdowns. Um, he looked really, really comfortable. Um and that's an attribute to the great pass blocking, but the lack of pass rush for the Jaguars. It just wasn't getting there. Yeah. Also, uh, big shout outs to um, DJ Chark, who uh, suffered a really, really gruesome injury at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. It was uh, pretty ridiculous, actually. Um, actually, one of their top receivers, in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, people don't know that because. People are going to watch Jaguar games. So it's mm -hmm. hard for them to see that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, he had to get surgery this morning. So, you know, we I hope that he recovers pretty fast from it. It, it was just a really gruesome injury to watch. Um, I watched up until like midway through the dirt quarter before that, mm -hmm. uh, before I completely just knocked out. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be like, I'll just catch the rest of the yeah. game. Papers. And the but funny paper. They didn't cover. Not and even. I kind of realized that they would. I felt like they were still going to win the game, but then I was like, they're not going to cover now. <laughs> not yeah. not with the way that they were playing defense in that first half. There was a lot of non covering because, you know, uh, we didn't cover our spread either. No. Nope. Uh, well, we got, you're the one who said that. I mean, I was trying to be, uh, you know, like, like Prof and make aggressive moves, right? <laughs> um, how, you did know, that, how did that uh, help you out there, but well, uh, I was, I mean, we're at 9,880 all time. I mean, can't teach that, I guess. 40 unique listeners over the last seven days. I, I mean, we, we really, we're really pushing for those final plays, but uh, that's okay. That's all right. We that's got fine. this episode. We got these it's episodes. Still good. It's still good. Yeah, that's all good. Um, but Let's give some predictions, Boyo. I mean, obviously, we know that they didn't meet the spread last night. We didn't meet the spread, but let's try to give some predictions really quickly. Um, let me go over these games here. We got the Tennessee Titans going to the New York Football Jets. Do the Jets get their first win, Johnny? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, indeed. Tennessee over the Jets. Kansas City, two-game losing streak over the two-game losing streak. Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. I'm going to say Kansas City gets back on the board. Uh, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. The Eagles defense has been just insufferable to watch. Mm. And I don't think it's going to get any better. The Chiefs gonna has a new toy to play with, with uh, as Doc said two days ago. Flash. Flash. Uh, uh, yeah, that's true. With Josh Gordon gotcha. heading into there, so I can see that one being a big, uh, big old fat blowout. Nice. Here we go. The three and zero 
Carolina Panthers heading to Dallas to play them boys. I'm going to go with the Cowboys, and I don't want to, but <laughs> they got their groove. It was it was against um, the Eagles, but they got their groove. They're sure. they're gonna they're gonna pass more than run because I think the Panthers' uh, run defense is like OD. Mm-hmm. But I'm still kind of hesitant on their pass defense right now. Yeah, and I think they lost one of their better secondary players uh, yep. options. So yeah, we are to wait and see what happens. But I'm gonna. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go to Panthers. Forget it. I'm gonna say they 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 keep That's their fair. on the street their on this unbeaten record um, into Dallas here. Uh, we even without CMC, uh, we have the O and three. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about the CMC part. <laughs> yeah, we have the New York Football Giants O and three heading to New Orleans and the Jameis Winston led Saints. Yeah, I'm not gonna humor you with this one. We're going with the Saints. Yeah, I really want to pick the Giants because I, I feel like this is a trap and we're going to get the old Jameis Winston back. Um, but I'm going to go with the Saints as well. Yeah, it's really hard for me to bet against the Giants defense. Like, that has been the Achilles heel of that team so far this year, despite the fact that Dan- Danny Dimes is essentially having a career year so far, which is also pretty sad to say. It is. Uh, next, we have the Cleveland Browns versus the Minnesota Vikings. Minneapolis, Minnesota Vikings. I'm going with the Browns. I'm going with the Browns. I'm going to go with the Vikings. Um, That's I like what they did. I like what they did with the Seahawks. Um, I think the Browns, again, have that tendency to struggle sometimes. So I know I said that last week, but I'm going to go with the Vikings and take my take my chances here. Hey, I like it. Uh, you got the 0 and 3 Detroit Lions versus the 1 and 2 Chicago Bears trap all the way. But I be- I believe this is just a belief the Detroit Lions should get their first win. I'm going with you as well, actually. Yeah, I believe. I'm, I'm doing the uh, Doctor Strange one. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Next, we got the Houston Texans versus the Buffalo Bills. I'm going to go Buffalo. Yeah, they're going to keep stampeding along. Yeah. Indianapolis I, Colts. I said last week their offense is going to start clicking again, and it did. So True. I feel like they're just going to keep that groove on going. True. We got the 0 3 Indianapolis Colts headed to Miami 1 and 2. Yikes. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the Dolphins. I think they I'm showed us sure. something last week. I'm not sure. I think the Colts can get it done. I think, yeah, I, I think Mr. Wentz. I think this one he can get it done. He's still he's still playing on two hurt <laughs> ankles. I can't I can't have confidence in that. I can understand that. Uh, next we have the Washington football team. Versus the Atlanta Falcons here, both one and two in Atlanta. I'll go with the football team because really the Giants should have beat Atlanta last week. I'm also going to go with the football team. I was going to pick the Falcons because I feel like their tight end is going to have a big day, and I think mm-hmm. he still have a big day. But they still have to put points on the board. Um, True. And somehow, some way, Taylor Heineke is still on that hot seat before right. they bring in Cam. Yikes. Not Cam. Yep. Cam watch is still happening. Yikes. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks versus the San Francisco 49ers. Always a treat to watch. Um, I think the way San Francisco played Green Bay last week, I, I'm inclined to pick San Francisco. Oh, I'm picking San Francisco all the way. Uh, the Seahawks defense is still suspect. Still suspect. Yeah. The game of the week here, the Arizona Cardinals 3-0, and heading to L.A. to play the Rams 3-0. and hmm. It should be a barn burner, as JR would I mean, say. Kyler Murray is going to be throwing his heart out. 
but despite that, he is mm-hmm. going mm-hmm. to lead his team to a loss. I'm going with the yeah. Rams. I'm going to go with the Rams as well. I just feel like Matthew Stafford is the piece that they needed all along, as you said last week. And he has a good offensive line, so on and so forth. It's all good. The Rams. Pittsburgh at Green Bay. One and two Pittsburgh struggling to find out who they are. Ooh. Green Bay is who. Yeah, it, it's Green Bay. <laughs> they're, they're Steelers offense is anemic. Like I said last yeah. uh, on Monday, like it's been anemic. Mm-hmm. And it's going to no. keep being anemic. And I believe one of the receivers is banged up. I forgot who. Uh, yeah. Chase Claypool is banged up. And who's Juju, right? Uh, he's a discount. Exactly. Yeah, I don't mean double check. <laughs> Two and one Baltimore travels to three and O oh Denver. This is a gut check game for Denver. Agreed. This is the first game that they've played. This is the first game that they'll play that's actually a quality opponent. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go. Denver, though. I'm also going to go Denver. I yeah. am. Yeah. yeah. I think because we'll despite the fact that Broadway, Lamar, and Hollywood Brown are taking the field, I feel like Teddy Bridgewater is going to show the whole mm-hmm. world something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the New England Patriots. In the return of Tom Brady. This is a trap game. It has all the emotions. It has all of the, you know, fanfare. The Wonder Kid returns home. Mm -hmm. Six Super Bowl wins. Mm -hmm. Seven now. Well, six with with the Patriots. Yeah, I got what you're saying. I'm sorry. Going back to Foxborough. Bill Belichick, the defensive guru. I'm going with the Bucks. Of course. Um, Just because Mac Jones, uh, JPP should be coming back, which is going to help that front seven. Um, yes. And I don't know whether or not Richard Sherman, newly acquired by the Buccaneers, will be mm-hmm. playing or not. But Mac Jones have had struggles throwing the ball. True. And yeah. it's like I kept saying at the beginning of the year, if you don't have time to throw it, your receivers can't get the ball. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably have a he'll probably have a good game against this, and the um, Patriots similar lost to Daniel uh, James Jones. White as well, too. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, he'll probably have a good game similar to you know Daniel Jones last season, but if they don't have that type of game plan, then it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be rough. Yeah, if if uh, Belichick doesn't have something special cooked up for the Bucks, like it's gonna be a long mm-hmm. evening. Mm-hmm. But of course, the and media the, is going to be all over this. Oh, oh my have, gosh. Lastly, here, the Monday night game. The oh, loss. We do that. We do that Mondays. We do that. Oh, Mondays. yeah, that's right. That's right. Let me hold off. Yeah. Because uh, I don't so, know who, I, who I'm picking, but I'm going to wait. And see. Also, I want to see the line for that one, too. I want to see if I want to see if Vegas agrees with me. Come on, Vegas. And I don't mean the Raiders, folks. Wow. But, Johnny, I know the people who heard this podcast on their favorite podcast platform, but if they didn't, they can always go to our website at www.hardtimes. Just kidding. Just kidding. www.debatamongstriends.com to review this episode as well as all of the previous. Be sure to tune in on Monday as we go over all of these Sunday games as well as some college games. And we'll also be here to deliver the news, the analysis, the hard times, and the reads. He's lucky the end of the week right here, but he got that books. And I'm out of there.